All right, so let's talk about some of these prints. This right here is the kind of final version I made of the print that I just showed you. I actually have two versions. We can look at them both right here. Um, basically, one of these is a bit uh, less magenta than the other one. This one's got a little bit of a purple hint. I'm not sure how visible that is here in the video, but ultimately, I don't know which one I liked more, so I did both. And that's kind of how I roll when I print. If I don't know if I like something more than the other, I'll just do both, and then I have them both. So. This is the final product, and I'm pretty happy with it. I love the composition, and I love the lines. It's just a very, very minimal kind of style image, um, but it looks great. I'm pretty happy with it. So I made a few other different prints from my time in Sweden. So here's one of my favorite shots of the whole trip. And this is me on the dog sled as we're going. And of course, we've got this beautiful sky here, which I had to burn in the print in order to bring out more of the detail and a bit more of that color that's in there. And then, yeah, these are the dogs. Um, again, kind of a magenta e style image, a bit subdued, and this is what the light kind of I was reminded of when I was there. Um, it wasn't very bright out. It was kind of like blue hour with some stuff happening in the sky. So that's what I went for. That's what I imitated when I was printing it. Overall, pretty happy with it. Um, I have another version of this, but I won't be showing that one to you because I don't know where it is right now. So I think this is probably the best print of all of them. And this is another kind of blue houry late, late sunset image. And this view you see right here, I've seen many, many times when I was in Sweden. Um, we kind of drove by it every single day, saw it from every single angle. But in this particular image, I was able to frame it with something here in the kind of foreground. And I just love how it looks. I think this came out really, really good as compared to the scan. Um, and they match pretty well. Oftentimes the scan and the print are very different. But in this case, they kind of match a lot. So really happy with it. And then, of course, I have to do one final print of the Northern Lights. And I actually made two different versions of this, and I'll show you both so you can see kind of the key distinction. Um, and hopefully it's visible here. But basically, the main key difference here is the actual Northern Lights. In this print here, I actually dodged this area. So I covered this for about three seconds or so out of the total of what I think was 12 seconds for the full image. And I did that on purpose because then it allows this to be a bit brighter. Here you see it, there's a bit more detail, and actually let me put them like that. Actually, let's leave this here, you know, product placement, you already know. Um, ultimately, yeah, this and this. Um, this one has a bit more detail in the actual lines. You can see the lines going up further right here. Whereas this one, because it's a brighter image, there's less of that detail. All you see is more of the kind of the luminosity. I don't know which one I like more. I think here the green looks better, but here I think the intensity of the Northern Lights is just more kind of appealing. So. Again, I printed both, and now I have two different versions, and I like them both, so it is what it is. Um, but yeah, that's about it. This was a lot of fun. I've never printed this many images from one particular trip, because it's a lot of work, but I've got into a groove in this one here, and I was able to print all of these, basically with wasting very, very little paper. Maybe a max, uh, let's say, two, three sheets per print, including the final versions. Um, and I do have some scrap paper as well that I use sometimes, as you saw in the video earlier, but yeah. Pretty happy with this and that's it hope you enjoyed the video if you did please go ahead and like of course and until the next video y'all peace